Hey! So today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own custom shade as well as showing you how easy it is to incorporate that shade in an easy everyday eye look. So if you are interested, please keep watching. Okay, so creating your custom color. Now if you watched my mixing colors video, you know that I love to play with my colors and mix them to make whole new colors that I can use in my everyday routine. So I loved a purple color that I mixed. I'm, I don't know if you remember, but I still have the sheet. And this purple shade right here that I mixed, I absolutely fell in love with that color. So I wanted to create a size big enough to where I can use it on the daily. And this is how I'm gonna do it. So when you're mixing colors or when you're trying to create a custom color, now there's different things that you can do. You can go to airbrushmakeup.com and from there you can order a bottle. It's about this size. And it has the little mixing balls in it, which all come in your makeup. These are crucial if you want to go ahead and mix your own colors. Because, of course, you need something to mix the mixing medium with the pigment in the bottle. So you can find these at airbrushmakeup.com. I think they're about $2 for a bottle plus mixing balls. So, I mean, next time you place an order, just go ahead and pick up a few of those. Or you can take empty bottles that already have been used, like I did here, and clean them accordingly. Now, I did not use tap water from the sink to clean these bottles out. I actually used distilled water from bottles that I had sitting around. And I cleaned this bottle out completely with the, the distilled water and a Q-tip. And then I also cleaned off the mixing balls and I left them in the bottle here. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be taking that bright pink color that I mixed in that video, which is a sample size, so it'll only give me a certain amount, but at least it'll be enough to where I can use it multiple times. If you find a color that you love, this is the perfect way to be able to use that color every day without adding more time to your routine. So I'm going to mix that bright pink color with sapphire blue. So I'm going to mix those two colors in my empty bottle to create my awesomely purple custom color. This one right here that I love so much. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to my eyelids. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be mixing that bright pink color. And I'm just gonna go ahead and empty it into my container, like so. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of color in these little sample sizes. So so I'm just going to go ahead and empty that as much as I can. There's still a little bit left in there, so I want to empty that in here too. I'm just going to keep trying to get the color through and through. And I think that's about all the color I'm going to get out of there. And then I'm going to make sure that the tunnel is clear here. So I'm going to have to sacrifice some pink, but that's okay. And then I'm going to take my sapphire blue. And I want to make sure that it's all shaken up. Let me close this. Make a mess. Shake it up. And then I'm going to add about the same amount of sapphire blue. Now I'm going to eyeball it, but what you can do is take like a piece of paper and start it from the bottom and then kind of draw a line where you see it and then just move it up and that'll make it accurate. But I'm just going to eyeball it because I think I got this. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some of that sapphire blue up in there. Okay. Now I feel like I got my amount of sapphire blue that I'm going to need, so I'm going to go ahead and seal this off because the mixing balls are already in there. Now when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you keep the mixing balls in there um, before you start. It just makes things easier. You can always add them in at the end, but you, know, you just want to make sure that you have everything in there just in case you happen to forget. And then you just want to go ahead and shake up the color. I have this beautiful purple color that I love so much in a size that makes it easy for me to use every day. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put this color to use. So I'm going to start on my eyeshadow routine. Alright, so the first step to my eye look is to take light smoke into my transition. Just to give that smoky effect, I'm just going to go ahead and layer that all the way through from the outer corner of my eye, dragging it all the way towards the inner corner of my eye. Now if you've never watched any of my air shadow videos, my compressor dial is at 10 o'clock and I'm just lightly pulling on the lever going back and forth in the motion where I want to lay the color down. Now 
Now the next step is to deepen the outer V of my eye, aka the outer corner. And I'm just taking dark brown to the outer corner, creating like a C shape up into the natural fold of my eye. Now for this color, um, I'd like to just stay light on the lever and kind of be a little bit further away just to widen the spray to get that nice evenly blended look. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag it down to the outer corner of my lower lash line just to have everything blend really well to create a nice smoky effect. Now the final step is to take my customized color and go ahead and spray that all over my lid. So I'm going to start from the inner corner of my eye and work it into the outer corner of my eye where I added that dark brown. So I just want to go ahead and blend my custom color into the dark brown and then take it up towards my transition to make sure that everything is blended perfectly. Now the great thing about custom colors is that if the color is ever too light or you're just tired of the color, you can add more of either the darker color or the lighter color to change it up. I mean the possibilities are endless when it comes to mixing colors with airbrush makeup. So I really recommend that you do mix colors. And the next step is just my airliner. I'm just using Midnight Blue. And I'm also using my cat eye and stencil that I got at airbrushmakeup.com. If you are unfamiliar of the way that I do my airliner, check out my essential series. There is a whole video on how to utilize different stencils to do airliner. And don't forget the lower lash line by spraying through the lashes in the outer corner for a smoky effect. Then I like to take my highlighter and just dab it on my tear duct and take it up to my brow bone for a little bit of added highlight. it a beautiful airbrushed eye look with your custom shade. Like I said before, utilizing bright colors and mixing colors is a really, really great way to get some of those colors that are just sitting in your airbrush collection and putting them to use. So I really recommend that you go ahead and try mixing your own shades. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.